welcome back to the channel you guys welcome back to ironclad rc uh today we're going to be starting a new build all right we're going to be working on the 120th scale mini hydroplane uh, this is a 1987 atlas van lines micro mini <laughs> it's a small it's going to be a small boat um so yeah we're going to start the build start the build i've been uh looking at the at the plans here all right they come in a pdf form on a, on a dvr and um oh man it's uh it's a it's a it's a lot to bite off and chew <laughs> um that's kind of the equipment layout all right the boat's only going to be 17 inches long around 10 inches wide um what i'm gonna start doing i've kind of got my hobby knives out here a couple of different ones my ruler some ca glue and uh i'm gonna start cutting and and, and popping these out of its frame here taking all the bulkheads out all right pop the bulkheads out and the main stringers to uh get the initial framework started all right so i'm gonna start that i'm gonna start that Woo! what did i get myself into here boys <laughs> full build series i'm gonna do my best for you i'm gonna do my best this is pretty it's a, it's a rare it's kind of a rare little little uh little kit you know it's really rare i mean you see it one sixteenth scale, you see eight scale, tenth scale hydroplanes. Uh, you don't hear of one twenty scales. So I'm just gonna take my pencil here and uh, try to try to kind of label each part as I pull them out. Try to identify each part as I pull them out. Oh boy! Oh boy! This is what I've done since I've gotten this kit, you guys. I've just been looking at it. I've, re I've read all the instructions. It's a lot of terminology in the instructions and i'm a boat guy i'm a boat guy like i grew up around boats but there's a lot of terminology in this kit that um i've heard but i've never distinguished so <laughs> um i'm gonna do my best well, how many times have i said that i'm gonna do my best <laughs> Four hours, four hours it took me to get one piece out. Not because it was hard to get out the, out the, out the parts tree here. I'm just, uh, I don't even know what I'm doing. Help me. All right, so we got that out, whatever the hell that is. Oh boy, what the heck did I get myself into? They come out the off the parts uh, ply here nice. It comes off really nice. And a lot of this terminology that I'm going to be using for this kit, you guys, it might not be right. Um, uh, like I said, I've never built one of these kits before. Like, I'm calling this a parts tree. So, it, it might not be called a parts tree. You guys might be cussing me out or something right now. But, uh, you, get the, you get the drift. Alright, so let's get this guy here out. going to kind of clean up some of these where they're attached to the to the tree here Just, you know you want to make sure it's nice and smooth all right getting these um main stringers popped off let's get this guy you got to be careful with this one they've got these little notches cut into them and uh that's where your your bulkheads are going to basically sit okay so we definitely want to take care of getting these guys out don't want to break that off so i'm gonna go ahead and pop. see like right right here all right just gonna kind of score it with this hobby knife not to cut my part out just uh cutting that little tab there so we don't splinter anything this is basswood and it's uh, pretty strong stuff Pretty strong stuff. I've worked with basswood before. I used to uh, do a lot of woodworking uh, in the past. In the past, I love I love doing wood projects. I love working with wood. I'm a tree guy. I'm a tree guy. And I think trees look best when they're turned into boats. <laughs> I 
I've built a lot of boats from wood. I've just never put a kit together. I've always built them by hand. Just kind of come up with a, a design on paper and, you know, research where streaks and stuff go. But I've always built mono hulls. That sport fishing boat I built. That purple boat I have a series on. But I've never, ever put a kit together. Alright, so let's get this other stringer out. It's definitely intimidating when you first start looking at all the parts on the on the parts tree here. It's very intimidating. Very intimidating. And then you start reading the instructions and you got all these words you've never heard of before, you know, like uh sump bottoms and and uh Oh man, I don't even check decks and everything. I mean, I've heard of it. It's just uh Putting two and two together is the hard part. So, well, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Okay. And I've got Mr. Uh, Dr. Jet there. I got Dr. Jet on my side. If I have any questions about the build, hopefully Dr. Jet will be able to answer them. The designer of this kit, which is amazing. This kit is amazing. It's, the quality is Unparalleled, you guys. It's a beautiful kit. Alright. So in this video, we're probably just going to get the, the stringers and bulkheads all kind of glued up. And, um, in this video. You know, I don't want the video to be too long for you guys. It's already, what, 11 minutes and I haven't done anything. <laughs> so... <laughs> all right so that looks like what we need thus far okay all right so i'm gonna put this back in its little package so we need it again that way we keep everything nice and organized so we don't lose anything because i'm notorious for losing parts to stuff anything like me I would definitely put it back in its little package when you're not using it all right a little warp in it okay okie dokie you gotta make sure that this is um this is on point that this is on point <laughs> yeah, she's ironclad it out. <laughs> oh, I'm actually getting somewhere. I'm happy now. First, I'm like pulling my freaking hair out. Not no, like don't know which way to go. But uh, transom. This is our transom. Uh, not to be mixed up with the doubler. All right, it has these little fins on it. So we got it kind of set up in order. And then we'll kind of dry fit the the inner skeletal system before we glue up. But I've actually got to set my nuts. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Inside this nut plate. <laughs> we got to put some nuts in the nut plate, which is actually really smart because it's going to be tough to get your hands into this little boat once you have everything assembled. Okay, so the easiest way I found to do this is basically just put your screws on there with your nuts. All right. I'm just going to put a little dab of glue on my nut right there so that my nuts don't fall off the nut plate. All right. Uh, let that dry up for a second. That way I can lift this whole piece up. See how it's lifting all up? So your nuts aren't falling out. All right. And then we'll actually glue that piece of birch in behind it. Okay. That's actually going to double as a washer and a reinforcement. All right. Once you have these nuts glued into these nut plates, it's going to, it's going to, basically act as one big washer okay so I, I don't think you're going to need to use the washers it, um, that's just my opinion you know it's going to double as a washer and a uh a backer all in one you know and i think we have enough here i think we have enough we may be able to use two because i know we're going to probably need a set for the turn fin as well up front you know because we ain't going to be able to get in there once the boat's built uh either so 
definitely going to need one of these for the front, you know. And it looks like Dr. Jet's already kind of machined down a little off a little corner here so it fits right on the boat for you, you know. He's really taking a lot of the guesswork out. All right. So uh, it's kind of set up now. Now I'm just going to put a little some CA on the back side of this nut plate. Try not to get it on the threads of your screw just to save you a headache. All right. And we can push it down. Boom. Done. Yeah, yeah. This is getting to be exciting, man. Um, two days of work. Two days of work right here. <laughs> yeah, give or take. <laughs> you know, to considerate like planning and everything. So I got my backers on. Okay. So the next part of the bulkheads is this guy here. Make sure your rudder push rod hole is lined up on the left side. All right. Make sure it's on the left side, not the right side. All right. Next bulkhead is got the slit in it the servo mount and then your rudder linkage and everything okay so the next part of the bulkhead is the back of the spot has the like basically the back of your sponsons now, i'm not sure the proper terminology but it's bulkhead c all right make sure that your turn fin holes are on the right side all right um so now we get to assemble it okay uh hopefully i get this right we're going to dry assemble it first all right i'm going to try to push this on and we're probably going to have to get a little file of some kind and file it out so that these fit on there you don't want you want them to fit snug but you don't want them to fit so snug that you actually mess up the bulkheads so uh i'm gonna get a file All right, so let's see if it fits in there. Yeah, if it's if if it's too tight, you're gonna leave marks in the framework like that, and we don't want that. So, okay, so it just takes a couple little swipes with a piece of sandpaper or file. All right, so let's do the other side. So this is probably going to carry on to next year. I won't be able to finish this till next year. I got a baby coming. I got a baby boy coming. So this is going to be on the back burner when, once I'm in the hospital with my old lady. She's pushing out that little booger, huh? She's got to have to put all this in my back burner. Got a baby boy on the way. I think we're going to name him Axel. <laughs> Axel. Axel Johnny. Oh, too much. Shit, fire saving matches. All right. Okay. See, and this is where the servos mounted. Oh, I'm getting excited, boys. Oh man, got a long ways to go, but it's starting to look like something now, man. I, I swear, I was like, oh, I was freaking out looking at that parts tree and everything I was freaking out y'all like oh shit what did I get myself into oh shit all right oh, this is gonna be a beautiful boat you guys oh it's gonna be freaking beautiful and these guys here this is the the tip sponsor tips um, these are just gonna get pushed into into your uh, your stringer here okay and we'll put a little dab of glue on it once we get it in there and then we've got to waterproof the inside of the boat once we're all done um with with the with the whole framing you know framing the boat up so uh i, I wouldn't go too heavy with the super glue what's going on here i don't like that i don't like that See my sponson this this stringer right here has got a bow in it see that bow right there that one's perfectly straight of course my stringer's bowed anything else could have been bowed but the stringer man actually kind of run into a slight hiccup here 
and I, and I really don't think it's me or the kit. It's really it's really just nature. Uh, this this stringer right here, all right. Whenever I push the stringer up against the sponsons, the inside of the sponson here, all right. When I push it all the way up against that, it's wanting to um, it's wanting to to warp. Like it's wanting, you know, one side's wanting to lift up. All right, so I actually took a little bit of water. This board, the stringer's crooked. It was wanting to curve in, had a crook in it, and, it, and it's from it's from that the inside of a, a knot. It looks like a knot in the wood right here, where the grain where the grain's kind of uh, going one way, and then it's wanting to curve the other way. So it's, see how the grain in this one's like perfect. You see that? And the grain right here, it's wanting to swirl a little bit. Okay. So I actually put a little bit of water on it and bent it the other way, and it's it's actually doing okay. But once I push these these the stringer out, it sits flat. You see that? You see how it's sitting flat now? But once I push this stringer up against the inside of the sponson right there, everything's pushed down. She's wanting to. And it's not the kit or the manufacturer. It's nature. And you got to take stuff like this into account when you're building a kit or a boat or any anything out of wood, really. Anything, really. Um, you got to take that into account. So I'm not going to glue it together just yet. Put something heavy on it overnight on my flat steel desk right here that's why i use that flat top steel all right that's the reason why when i if i need something straightened out or i need a straight edge i know that that piece of steel ain't going bow like a piece of wood so um, i'm gonna try to get it straightened out worked out yeah that's that's tough that's tough to get out right there look at that all right so so i'm gonna wet it down all right I'm going to wet it down, and I've got a railroad tie to put on it. Call the channel Ironclad RC for, for nothing. Alright? Don't call it Ironclad RC for nothing. I love steel. I love wood. I love it. I love working with wood. I love working on metals. So, that should do it. I'm going to let it sit overnight if that don't do it we may try to iron it <laughs> i can't really go nowhere until i get that stringer straightened out I have a nice flat surface it's got to be flat and level you know all right so it's the next day about to pull the anvil off let me get these pistons and stuff off here i'm gonna pull the anvil off see how it did so uh let's let's see if it's straight let's see if it's straight here It worked. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so if you got a little bow, see the right here is what, what was causing it. Let's see, is this the right side? Yeah, see right here where it's all that grain's like twisted and knurled, curled and stuff? See on the other side, it's perfectly straight. But the one other side had this it, it looks like it looks like it's like the outside of a knot so it, it did it that weight with a little bit of water it did it <laughs> it has been a couple hours check it out it's already starting to bow over again I might have to go buy a piece of basswood and cut one of a straight piece oh man so I couldn't get the warp out all right, with the weight, with the with the anvil here, still bowed. Okay, so let's try another way. I've got the iron here. I've got a wet T-shirt. All right, on the opposite side of the bow, hot iron, cold table. See if hot and cold does it. This way, opposite way. Now let's do it on this side with the bad spot, the side with the knot on it. See if that will get it to bow the opposite direction. 
a lot of times it will. I'm doing the whole piece, not just the bad spot. This does it. I wonder if I should put that anvil on top of it once I'm done. I'm freaking out. This thing's not wanting to straighten out. Oh, flatten it out. Alright, so that's the bad side. all right so it's been a few days it's been a few days since uh since uh you know i ironed it okay and um and it's still warping still bending it's not the kit it's not it's just this one piece of wood every i checked over all the other pieces and everything's legit it's just this one little spot that one little knot right there wanting it to, wanting to twist it and bow it all right so i, I did the iron thing all right you guys I, I and then you know i put the the railroad tie on top till the next day took it off put it on the on the uh on the build all right and it and it still still warped a couple hours later it warped i ironed it again i heated up my anvil until i couldn't even touch it all right it took me a while to get it hot i heated up my tabletop all right and i sandwiched that bad boy in there all right next day flat flat as a pancake and then a couple hours later boom it would um it would it would bow back and you guys just you know it's just a piece of wood dr jet actually sent me a, a new stringer all right and i hated to even ask him i'm pretty good about getting I, I'm, I'm a wood guy i, I work trees I, I i'm a tree climber i've done like i've built wood like this is uh oak and but Bacote right here. All right. I, I built these sliding drawers. I built this guy right here. I built this table top right here. You know, uh, oak, blood wood, oak blood wood. I'm a I'm a wood guy. I'm a wood guy, and I could not get this bow out of this piece of wood. I'm talking about. I tried everything in my little box of tricks. I looked online and tried some stuff online, and and I, you can see the wood color. How, how much I've worked it. I mean, it, you know, I worked a mess out of it, but I couldn't get it out. I couldn't get it out. It's just a piece of wood. And when you get a kit, you know, you just got to take that into consideration. I, if you run into a problem like that, I was just going to go to my local hobby shop, Hobby Lobby, get a piece of this bass wood, all right, or birch, and um, and I was going to cut cut one out. I mean, it's not hard. I, shit, I, I could have cut it out and, and been done with it in a couple couple hours you know if that uh but dr jet wanted to send me the this new stringer so i you know i took it i know you guys are waiting on this build video to come out got a lot of guys waiting on it dr jet's waiting on it uh i got a little baby boy on the way you know got a uh, grandmother that's got dementia she just came home from um from rehab i've got a lot on my plate right now all right but uh got the this is the doubler for the transom all right don't don't get that mixed up with your your transom plate here all right we, you see you see me glue these nut plates in to the transom all right make sure it's all your rudders on the left all right we're going to do a dry fit real quick i'm going to go over it uh your rudder your rudder linkage hole on the left 
this little slit right here so you don't have one on the other side that little slits for your servo mount make sure that's on the left side of the boat all right so let's go up here to these bulkheads um your turn fin needs to be on the mounted on the right side of the boat all right make sure that these holes right here are on the right side because we're actually going to uh glue in a nut plate for that as well all right just like we did for the transom all right 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 here for the turn fin so uh let's put this guy together i'm, I'm interested to see how i bet it's, i bet right when we get it together it's gonna it's gonna be perfect you guys i i went through a lot of trouble trying to straighten that piece of wood out and you gotta figure you know this wood it's natural stuff you can't you know that's that's something we we can't really uh fix i mean some of that sometimes that stuff the wood it just um you know the knots the way the wood grain and everything goes on the on the kit you know it's just it's nature all right so let's make sure that our stringers pushed up against the the bulkheads here make sure our bulkheads are pushed all the way down all right look at that look at that it's perfect now it's perfect all right that's the way it's supposed to look you're not supposed to have any type of uh movement up or down it's not supposed to be warped like it was before oh man i'm, ex I'm excited now i'm excited about it now oh yeah oh yeah all right make sure you got your little um these little small bulkheads for the tips of the sponsons in all right i've got to actually push mine all the way up so make sure they're fully seated when you start to glue up all right so once you're at this step right here you can start gluing all right like i said i'm using this um ca glue right here and we're just gonna tack it in place because we've got to actually um i gotta push this back over that's why i was doing that but uh yeah, we're going to be epoxy in the inside of this boat. You know, you could use wood glue for this part if you want to. You know, put, you know, use wood glue and uh, I think I might use CA. All right, so the directions actually call to uh, go ahead and glue everything together right now. All right, and then put your nut plates on for your sponson on the back of the sponson. But I'm going to go ahead and put my nut plates on before I glue everything together all right uh, it's, it's just gonna be easier for me it goes right there all right um, we're gonna do the the nut plate just like we did the back nut plates all right uh, best way I found to do it you guys just like I said earlier just put your little drop on on the nuts so that it don't slide off the wood yeah I'm gonna load it up because you don't want this coming loose You'll have a hard time getting your turn fin in and out, you know, if you have to replace it or whatnot later on down the road. Okay. So, got both of them on there. All right. Now we can lift our, our plate up and put some glue. Put some glue on that plate. I might start doing this for other builds, too making some nut plates for for some of my other builds that I work on because I like this little concept all right and just make sure it's on the inside of your sponson on the right side you know sponsons on the right your turn fins on the right um, I would make sure that your your screws aren't gluing into the sponson there or anything you know Kind of loose you know move them around a little bit so you don't glue them in there because you can that's for sure just kind of work them a little bit okay all right and that's it let's uh let's glue her together because she's sitting pretty now no 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 uh yeah she's sitting nice now look at that <laughs> all right so the directions actually calls for ca on the on the stringers and bulkheads um 
think that's what I'm going to use. I think I'm just going to use some CA. If you use wood glue and um, if something's not right with wood glue, you have some time to work on it, you know. Uh, CA, if you get it wrong, you're basically screwed, you know. You're basically screwed. So, it's up to you what you use on your build, you know. It's really up to you. A lot of people like using CA. A lot of people like to use wood glue. It's, um, it's your build. You build it how you want it. I'm going to build mine how I want mine, you know. So, uh, let's, let's glue it together. Yeah, see that one's not wanting to seat all the way, so keep your little piece of sandpaper handy. Hit it with some sandpaper in case you don't want to seat. Yeah, there we go. All right, all right, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this guy in. Make sure that curve, make sure you got it fully seated, alright, make sure your curve matches the curved pieces on the top, alright, let's go ahead and get this one glued in, so this video is already long enough, once I get this glued up, we'll probably call it a day. This thing's nice it's cut nice everything's cut nice on it you guys I really didn't have to hit it much with sandpaper you know um now I did break this piece off struggling with the um with that one but I think that needs to be taken off anyway I don't know we'll see So let's go ahead and glue the transom on. A little dab of glue. Make sure she's pushed all the way down. Make sure she's pushed all the way in. Make sure she's pushed all the way up on that transom block there. Look how straight that is, perfectly straight. Okay. little dab of glue you don't need much because you're going to be reinforcing this boat with epoxy coating the inside of it with epoxy to make it waterproof so don't go overboard with your glue do one at a time make sure she's pushed down make sure she's square all right Make sure everything's nice and square. Make sure she's not twisted or anything.
and if it's a little bit out of out of whack you know or something you're going to be putting the the planking and stuff on later so uh you know you, you'll straighten a lot of that stuff will be straightened out with the planking with the balsa wood and stuff Boom! Huh? Yeah, she's looking good, huh, brother? Huh? <laughs> oh man, she looks nice, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Sorry about the long video, you guys. Sorry about the long video. I just wanted to include a lot of this, uh, the problems that you may run across when you're building a wood kit. You know, this is my first wood kit, and I ran into some problems. Um, you know, with the wood, the, the piece that was, the piece that was bowed and everything. Um, you know how I, how I tried to get that bow out. Those are like surefire ways to get a bow out of wood, and and it really, you know, uh, this piece that I had, it was just. It was beyond, uh, beyond fixable. But a lot of times those procedures that I showed you guys earlier in the video, they're surefire ways to get a bow or a twist out of a piece of wood with the iron, heavy weights, water, steam, hot and cold, hot and hot, you know, hot, hot weight on, on a piece of wood that's, uh, that's, that's bowed, you know. But um, I just wanted to kind of show you guys the first part of my build, all right, I got it kind of framed up, mocked up here, got everything glued into place, and she looks good. We'll see you guys next time, all right? Um, I don't know when the next build's going to be on this. You know, I'll work on it here and there. You know, it's not going to be tomorrow because this stuff takes time. But it'll be in a few days, you know, or, or a week. It depends, man. I got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of shit on my plate. So, um... You'll see it when you see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. Big B with Ironclad RC. Channel over Tinker Test and Tune. Everything. RC. We'll see you next time.